Willie Mo Jr. here. Bro, you ever like had a little vendetta like with God? I mean, not like you don't believe in God, but you just kind of got like an issue because things didn't go the way that you thought they were supposed to go. Man, y'all don't, please don't act like I'm the only person that had an issue like God was good. If you had an issue with God, just keep it 100, this gonna bless your heart. So my middle child, he was having some issues with his eye. I mean, for about two years now, he done had a patch. He been taking a little medicine in his eye. Be having to dilate his eye myself. I don't really like that. Flat out. But you know, I believe in the healing power of Jesus Christ. By his stripes, we're healed. Flat out. And I mean, I'm saying it every night, declaring the healing of God over my son. We praying every single night. Then I go to the doctor. Doctor gonna say. Well, Mr. Moore, I mean, he's been progressing, but he's not progressing as good as I think he should. So we're going to have to have surgery. Surgery? My baby ain't finna have no surgery. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I'm used to them people coming down to the altar telling us all about what God did and how he healed him miraculously. And the doctor came back and it wasn't there no more. I'm looking at the doctor like, he not going to have surgery. But we still make a little appointment or whatever just to go through the protocol of what she think we should do. Flat out. Finally, we get to the doctor's office and I'm thinking to myself, bro, this really about to happen? But I'm still staying in faith, though, until the doctor gonna walk in and say, well, we're about to take him back. Bro, I'm sitting there like, God, what's good? You supposed to, boom, come on, boom, come on with the healing. No healing, flat out. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. When they rolled my little baby out there to go to eye surgery, bro, I cried like a baby, flat out. The whole time, like, I'm hella confused. Like, God, I'm out here preaching and praying and laying hands and trusting God and being positive. I mean, bro, I ain't even smoked no weed in, like, six years. I mean... Surely you can heal my son flat out. Finally, my son comes out of surgery. He give me the thumbs up. We finally made it home, and I thought that it would be a good idea for me to tell my son that God didn't let him die. I walked over to that little boy, and I say, son, I want to have a real conversation with you. I don't want you to think that God let you die. I, before I could say another word, my little eight-year-old said, dad, hold up. God ain't let me down. He's just giving me a bigger testimony for my ministry. Woo! Bro, that broke me down. Then I thought about you. See, many times God allows things to happen in our life. And although the outcome is not exactly the way we want it to be, he's just building a bigger story for those to be compelled to come to him. His desire is for no one to perish. And sometimes he uses some strange strategies to draw men unto him. The moment that I saw the strength of my eight-year-old at the time. Bro, check me. See, maybe you feel like God let you down because you didn't get that promotion. Maybe you feel like God let you down because that relationship didn't work out. Maybe you were trusting God and it didn't manifest the way you thought it was going to manifest. I know I'm in the room, flat out. But I'm here to let you know that God is building a bigger story. And in the end, you win. I dare you to try to give him some praises in advance. God has a bigger plan for the issue that you're enduring right now. And as for my son, he all healed up now. Got a new video that's about to drop. And he's still consistently believing that God is just building his testimony so he can draw more men unto him. Remember, we have no control over what issue God chooses to use to draw more people to him. Hey, I'm Willie Bo Jr. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. And if you're watching us on Facebook, make sure that you share, share, share. Don't you dare not share this video. You hear me? Do that. And family, if you would like to get a Believe shirt, if you believe anything, I want to come into agreement. What we are believing is that 112,000 kids that who are in foster care will get permanent homes. They will be adopted flat out. Well, the kingdom is my business, but not this right here is personal. Kingdom is my business, but not this right here is personal. Kingdom is my business, but not this right here is personal. This right here is personal. This right here.